Welcome to the historic Kelly Park, where the famous Rock Springs Run ordinates. Located about 35 minutes from Orlando is this very unique springs as it's a natural flowing lazy river. Florida has over 700 natural springs in the state, which is the largest collection on the planet. Lots of them are located here in central Florida, which is perfect since we are always looking for a way to cool down from the summer heat. I'm Danny702 and today we are at Rock Springs here at Kelly Park. Now let's grab a tube and take advantage of this natural and beautiful Florida adventure. It's a natural lazy springs, guys. On average, the spring maintains a flow of 26,000 gallons per minute with constant temperatures at 68 degrees. This beautiful 355 acre site was donated by Dr. Howard A. Kelly in 1927 for use as a public park, wild preserve, and a bird sanctuary. The pristine body of water known as Rock Spring is a natural free flowing spring which travels nine miles to the Wakiva River. Visitors to our state have no doubt plenty of options to fill their vacation. But if you find yourself with a free day and you want to get away from the theme parks and the tourist district, I highly recommend a natural Florida day. We have only been to a handful of the springs in our short time living in Florida, but we have really fallen in love with the beauty and the experience. Swimming in the aqua blue waters and kayaking with the fish and even the gators is something even this city girl has been enjoying time and time again. You can kayak if you go up just a little bit. There is a launch here at Camp Joy, but there's no rentals inside of the park, so you do have to bring your own. If you want to do any rentals, you can go over to Wakiva, and Eddie and I have been to Wakiva before, and I will link that video below. Rock Springs is a county park, and the summer hours are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and cost of admission is only $3 per car for up to two people, but $5 if you have three to eight people. You can camp on site or go on a hike. They do have clean restrooms and a concession stand offered inside of the park. But the main attraction is going to be the free flowing natural springs. The spring run is about three fourths of a mile long and it takes about 30 minutes to travel. There are two rentals available outside of the park, but you can also bring your own, of course. And there are nearly seven miles of hiking trails throughout the park varying in length. Now this is where the spring starts. This is the head springs and it does look like there's a cave in there. We can't pass this little buoy so we're not able to go in this area. But this is where it all starts and then you're gonna travel about three-fourths of a mile all the way down. It looks kind of spooky in there. There's no diving but this is the only area that you're able to jump in. This is the only deep area. It looks like maybe five to six feet. I could be wrong but then you're gonna hit all the rocks and the shallow end. All right we got our tubes we're ready to get into the water. You think the water's gonna be cold? Yeah. It means 68 degrees, like they, it seems like it would be kind of warm, but it's actually kind of cold. It's not even that like warm out there. I know, I mean, we're sweaty, it's humid out, mm -hmm. but it's not as hot as it usually is. It's actually pretty nice out. There is a storm possibly somewhere close because we do hear thunder, so it's possible it's gonna rain on us while we're in here. Here we go. To the lazy river. Oh, got bumped by some rocks. Wow, this is going a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> got a pretty decent current. Oh my god, this is so insanely cool. How deep do you think it is? Mm -hmm. Three, is three feet maybe. Oh. If you've been following me for a little while, you guys know I do love my water parks out here in Florida and I do love my lazy rivers and I can't believe we're sitting in a natural one right now. Whoa, we're getting some strong current over here. Wow. Oh my God, this is going really fast. <laughs> that we're coming across is sort of like their little beach area. So you can grab your towel and catch some rays over here. Kind of like a little swimming pool area. But we're still in the lazy river. 
the little beach pool area was definitely the busiest area of the whole run. But we are continuing on down the path. This is so cool. Like, when did you ever think that you would be in a natural lazy river? <laughs> I don't know, man, you know? <laughs> I love this. I can't believe that this exists. It's so beautiful here. A lot of fish right here. A lot of fish? Yeah, underwater. Where? I don't see that. currently making our trek back up the river, walking in, of course, we're gonna time it to see how long it takes. It's about 1.30 right now. Less than 10 minutes to walk up the stream, maybe about seven, but in that time frame, it just started pouring. But if I know anything about Florida, storms go by really quickly. So we'll either just head on in or we'll wait it out a little bit. So if you're curious about what happens when a storm passed through, it just happened now. So a really long horn sounded, letting us know to get out of the water because the storm is too close. There is thunder and lightning going on. And then once it is safe to get back in the water, you hear a couple more quick sounding, like quick burst horns, and it lets you know that it's now safe to get back in. because of the rain delay as well, a whole bunch of people left. So this run should be a lot more quiet. Oh my God, yes, look at this. I feel like I have the whole Lazy River to ourselves. Oh wow, this is amazing. This was worth the rain delay. So the area where you can jump in is really the only area where it's pretty deep. And then the rest of it gets pretty shallow. And right now, I'm walking in an area where there's a lot of rocks, so it's pretty rigidy, but it's beautiful. The water is so insanely clear. Oh my god, check out this view. This is awesome! Wow. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. I'm sitting a little awkward this time around. Oh, there's some rapids going. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Dang. That was awesome. It looks like we're coming upon the area where you can swim. A little bit more space to do so. so this is what it looks like now that there's not as many people. I'll be able to show it a little bit better and continue on down to the Lazy River. I think maybe that little beach area might be sort of the middle of the river. Uh-oh. That might mean we have to get out pretty soon. <laughs> oh no. This area does get very busy during the summertime. So we tried to come about two weeks ago while school was out of session still and it hit capacity at like 10 a.m. We happened to just check the website and it was already full. So if you're coming in the summer months, be prepared to come here very early, even before opening time. I hear there is a line of cars waiting to get in. But now that school is in session, we are here on a Friday and we arrived at about 11 to 12 p.m. and got in with no issue. And then as you can see, if there is a storm rolling through and you happen to wait it out you get almost the whole river to yourself 
It's ridiculous how beautiful it is out here, especially now that it's cleared out. It is just so calm and serene. The water is just crystal blue. No alligators. I don't haven't seen any gators the whole time that we're out here. It's starting to come down on us. Good thing we're nearing the end though. And now that we have chilled and relaxed in that beautiful natural lazy river, I have picked up an appetite. I'm getting pretty hungry and let's say we keep it in the sort of water fish theme and head to a brand new restaurant over at Icon Park. And we've made it to Icon Park where Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips had just recently opened this week. And here's a look at the menu. They have combos, but they do have their fish and chips. They have shrimp and chips. There's lobster and shrimp. You can get chicken if you aren't a fish person and also a fish witch. There's a few different sauces. It looks like maybe six different sauces and you get two when you order a combo. All right, we have ordered our food and this is what we are working with. So I got the kids combo and then I added a shrimp for I think it was $2.99. You still get your two sauces. You get two things of the fish and then of course chips. Also came with a drink. And then Eddie got the regular combo. So yours came with three fishes, chips, two of the sauces, and also a drink. You got lemonade though, which was a dollar extra charge, right? Yeah. We love Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. We already know that we like this. We've ate plenty of times at the Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips at the Link in Las Vegas. Yeah. So when they were opening here, I'm like, let's go. Especially because you didn't get your Fish and Chips at Epcot the other day. Yeah. Is it as good as you remembered? Yeah, it's even better. It's even better? <laughs> it's been a while since we've had it. So. Yeah, the batter is really good. Do you think this is better than the one at Epcot? Um, right now, yeah. <laughs> Ask again next time we go to Epcot. And I'm gonna go in for it. It's been so long. It's been like at least two years. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's primo. Primo. What do you expect? Because it is under Gordon Ramsay's name, so it has to be absolutely excellent. This is so good. Everything about it. The fish is just flaky. The batter is perfect. The sauces are bomb. Uh, I'm so excited. We've got a Gordon Ramsay fish and chip. I haven't had the shrimp before, so this will be my first time trying the shrimp. Oh, that's good. Oh my God. That might be better than the fish. Wow. between the fish and the shrimp. This might be better. Oh my God. I wonder what the lobster tastes like. I think it's safe to say that you enjoyed your meal. Yeah, I'm the mall here, but I'm definitely cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I mean, it looks a little bit expensive when you're looking at the price, but the fact that it comes with the drink and everything, and yeah, it fills you up. I would say maybe the french fries were a little salty, but otherwise yeah. delicious. And that's gonna do it for today's adventure, and what a great day it was. That lazy river over at Rock Springs was such a great experience, and then the food here at Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips, Primo! I am so glad that they opened one here in Orlando because we loved it over in Las Vegas. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, love you guys. Peace!